Good evening, everybody. Silverbolt here. Uh, back for the Promise Review. Um, I've been asked a lot of questions over the last couple of weeks, um, and it appears that my word seems to carry a little bit of weight in certain circles. So, I'm probably going to open a can of worms uh, right about now, but I'm going to answer the question that I've been asked more often than not over the last few weeks, and um, give you my opinion of Transformers Animated. I have seen the first special, the first hour and a half special, which I think was comprised of the first three episodes. And I'm in the process of uh, trying to get to uh, episode two, or four, depending on whichever way you want to look at it. Right. Transformers Animated, as far as it's we've been able to sell so far, from one episode anyway, um, is set somewhere between... Well, is set in the G1 universe. Um... And continues after the order of, after the Great War, so the Decepticons have been beaten and are banished and are pretty much a myth. Uh, the Autobots have lived in peace, well, relative peace, uh, for uh, presumably several hundred years. This is going back to what I remember from watching it last week because I haven't seen it since. And blah 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 blah. Anyway, a uh, a team of well, oh, what are they? Repair people, construction people. Um, constructor bots, don't know. Um, are I can't remember. Are on an asteroid, um, and they find what appears to be the Allspark. This promptly causes the Decepticons to show up, and so the story begins. Um, characters that are in there, uh, some are going to be instantly, instantly recognisable. Uh, we have Optimus Prime, obviously. Uh, Optimus Prime is a rookie soldier this time round. Unlike any of the Unicron trilogy, he is not a... Ba or even the G1 series, he is not a battle-hardened veteran. He is a rookie who just has natural leadership qualities. Um, it appears that he was in the Cybertron Academy, uh, the elite, so he was an elite soldier, um, though the full story behind that has yet to have been learned. Okay, now his grumbling, grisly old veteran companion uh, is Ratchet, who appears to be the G1 Ratchet. How that makes sense, I don't know, seeing as Ratchet quite famously gets blown to bits in the movie, but this is, there we go, this is um, it's Hasbro making Transformers series. So, anyway, um, other notable characters, Bumblebee, looking very Bumblebee-ish, but after the f after the phenomenon that was the movie, they couldn't really change the look too much of Bumblebee and Prime. Uh, Prowl is back finally, um, and he's a well, he's a motorcycle, he's a ninja motorbike. So okay. Um, so they're your main characters that you'll recognise straight away. Your Decepticons, you have Blitzwing, Black Arachnia, which I thought was quite strange, and um, Starscream and Megatron. Uh, they're the main ones for the G1 that you'll know of. There are other ones in there, but for now, sticking to them. Um, how did I think of it? Well, I have to admit, I really liked it. Um, there are a few flaws with it. Mainly the one is the animation. I really didn't like the animation. Um, the animation... I imagine the animation will grow on me. Uh, I imagine it will grow on me. Uh, but other than that, I didn't like that. But as I said, that will... I imagine... It's the fact that Optimus Prime has got a chin like Johnny Bravo! I don't know, but there we go. Um, the other thing I didn't like was the Human Companion, but that's not a surprise, because ever since Spike went out of it, I have never liked the Human Companions. Um, okay, Koji was... He was alright in R.I.D., but... Kicker! Oh my god! Kicker! The only thing Kicker ever deserved to have was a kick in the nuts! Hmm. Apple Sours and 7-Up. Works quite well. But anyway, yes. Um, yes, the, the, the human companion, a little girl, um, who looks like a spazzed out Dora the Explorer. Um, but there we go. Okay, um... Those are the only main two things I didn't like. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. I love Prime's axe. I think it's fantastic. Uh, it's got like this, like you know, he's extending huge axe blade. He is he, like Conan. Fantastic. Um, I love Starscream. I thought Starscream was brilliant. Uh, and to those who who have never really watched the '80s cartoons, it's amazing how this new Starscream came across so Chris Latterish. Uh, 
brilliant, brilliant. And it's back to the G1 star screen. This conniving, truly sinister little bastard that stabs Megatron in the back the first chance he gets. Uh, Prowl, how awesome is Prowl? Ninja Motorbike, how awesome is Prowl? And I just got to say, I love Prowl's line of going, Prime starts Prime starts to give a very Prime-esque speech that Prime has been making for the last 25 years. You know, standing on the one rock and he's there with his Captain America pose and Prowl just goes, oh no, not this speech again. But yes, I did heartily enjoy that bit. All in all, it's shaping up to be a very good series from what I've seen so far. Excuse me. So yes, it is showing up to be very good uh, things so far. Uh, one of the things I will mention, uh, we have a new voice for Optimus Prime. Uh, the only two voices that we've had before, excluding R.I.D., so really in the West, was obviously Peter Cullen, and then throughout the Beast Wars, Beast Machines, and the, the Unicron Trilogy, we had Gary Chalk. Uh, yes, we do have another Optimus Prime. It is now made by David Kay, is the voice of Optimus Prime. Corey Burton is in there, um, who of course famously played Spike, uh, and he is playing Megatron, believe it or not. So there we go. Uh, one of the things I will say about Megatron, isn't he a great villain? Oh, you, you had the old Megatron, the 80s Megatron, and the 80s Galvatron, mm. who was like, <laughs> you know, I mean, the scariest villains are always the quiet ones that come up behind you in the dark. They're the scary villains. You know, Pennywise. You know, um... Candyman. Pinhead. Hannibal. You know, they're the scary villains. Jason. To some degree. And Mike Myers. To some degree. Um... Not the god-awful Rob Zombie remake. Uh, but, you know, the likes of Freddy Krueger. You know, yeah, yeah, they look scary. But they're not really scary. Unless you're one of those people that's completely fucked over by horror films in that kind of regard. Um, but yeah, so Megatron, very evil character. Looking forward to seeing how he comes along. Looking, really looking forward to seeing how he comes along. Alright, but yes, that's me done. Uh, that's just my humble opinion. I hope it hasn't offended too many people. Um, I imagine there's going to be a few G1ers that are going to be like, Oh no, he's another one, he's another one who likes a new series. Well, fuck yeah, the old cartoon, he's 20 years old. Two things. One... Both of them from this sentence. One, it's a cartoon. Two, it's 20 years old. Sign for a new one. And it could have been a lot, lot worse. But yes, I'm looking forward to it. Again, don't like the animation. Don't like the human companion. But we'll see how it goes. But for now, this is Silverbolt. Um, I shall probably return with a toy review at some point this week, if I can. Silverbolt, signing off. Saying au revoir. Adios. A bit is it.